for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you comparison of the results between the shear wall building design as well as the general building model uh, without using shear wall condition system by using etap software which are related to the uh, deflection as well as your story drift values in the earthquake resistant designing concept this is the one of the important concept shear wall condition system so basically shear wall nowadays most of the people are using for the earthquake resistant designing models so in my previous video i was already done how to assign the shear wall condition system and how to uh, analyze the building structure by with the help of the shear wall condition by using etap software i will provide you that respected video link in above cot link and below description of this respected video you can watch that video in this video i will explain you how to compare the results which are related to the deflection story drift value with the help of the shear wall and without the, uh, using the shear wall condition system so firstly i will show you the model which i was already done without using the shear wall condition system okay so here i am selecting my etap software so here my model is loading here which is consisting of g plus 11 building structural model so for this structural model i was consider the material properties which are related to the m30 grade concrete and fe uh, 500 grade steel again in the same process i was taken the frame section property which is related to the beam having 0.45 cross 0.65 again in the same process column size will be consisting of 0.8 cross 0.5 so again Again, in the same process, I was taken the slab thickness, which is approximately equal to uh, 150 mm. Okay, so I was taken the load cases, which are related to the gravitational loading condition system as well as the uh, lateral loading condition system. So the gravity loading condition system will be comes under the dead loading condition, live loading condition, and lateral loading condition system will be comes under the earthquake loading condition system as well as the wind loading condition system. So here I was taken the a uh, seismic zone which is of 0.36 factor which is a fifth zone so again i was consider the data which is related to the wind loading condition system so after modeling process completed after uh, applying all the load cases so just we had to do the analysis process for this building just i am going to the analyze option click on run analysis option so that it will do the analysis process for the respected building under considerations of the uh, without using shear wall condition system you can see this is the deflection diagram under considerations of the dead loading condition system okay so in order to display the displacement diagram for the respected seismic load we need to click on the display option select the deform shape which is related to the earthquake load in x condition system click on apply option click on okay option so that it will display the uh, displacement diagram for the respected earthquake load in x direction so now we have to load the results which are related to the deflection as well as the story drift so for that go to display option here again go to click on the show tables option okay in this initially we need to select the parameters so here i am selecting the load case which is related to the earthquake load in x direction condition and as example okay why because we are designing the earthquake resistance structure we need to prove that uh, with the help of the shear wall condition system the value of the story drift value will be decreases so here i am selecting the run analysis option so you can select the any one of the option here so simply i am selecting the joint output displacement values Just I am selecting the joint displacement option. Again, I am selecting the story drift option. Okay, so directly click on OK option, so that it will load the results which are related to the earthquake load in x direction, which is comes under the joint displacement as well as the story drift. Just I am selecting the story drift initially. Just I am copying this respected property. So select the all the property, click on copy option. So now we have to copy this respected data to the Excel sheet. Okay, so in order to draw draw the graphs. we need to copy the data to the excel sheet so this is the value without using bracing uh, sorry uh, without using uh, shear wall condition system okay again in the same process i am loading the value which is related to the joint displacement so here i am selecting the label number is 1 for the all story levels just i am selecting filter table here select the quick one and select the label which is equals to one option here click on okay option so that it will load the label one for the all the stories click on copy option here again i am selecting this respected option just i am selecting the second page just copy here okay so that it will load the values here like this now we have to close the model which is related to the without using the uh, shear wall condition system 
so again i will open the model which is related to the with the help of the shear wall condition system model so here my model is loading for the respect test structure so same properties i was consider which is related to the uh, without using a shear wall condition system except the thickness of the shear wall so as per the consideration just i am taking the thickness of the shear wall will be of 230 mm now again we have to do the analysis process for this respected structure also go to analyze option so click on run analysis option so that it will do the analysis process for the respected building under considerations of the load cases so again for this respected model also i was taking the load cases which are related to the gravitational loading condition system as well as the lateral loading condition system same properties whatever the properties that i was consider for the model number 1 i was consider the same properties for this respected model so after analysis process completed again the deflection diagram will be shown for the respected model okay now you can see this is the deflection diagram under considerations of the dead load again go to display option deform shape again i am selecting the load cases earthquake load in x condition click on apply option so that it will display the earthquake load in x condition system deflection diagram so now again we have to load the results which are related to the deflection and story drift with the help of the shear wall condition again we have to go to display option show tables option so again i am selecting this respected load case will be comes under earthquake load in x condition select the joint output which is related to the story drift value again joint displacement value click on okay again again in the same process we have to load the values which are related to the story drift for the building just i am selecting the story drift here just copy here again i am selecting control c option go to the excel sheet again again i am selecting the sheet number 1 just i am pasting the values here okay again i am selecting this respected value control c option again i am pasting here now you can see these are the values which are comes under the with using the shear wall condition system again i am selecting the joint displacement values go to filter filter table in the same process quick one again i am selecting label which is equals to one option here okay so click on okay option so that it will load the one label property here click on copy option again i am going to the sheet number 2 just i am pasting the values here like this okay so now i am selecting this property click on copy option just i am pasting without using a shear wall condition again i am selecting this property copy option just i am pasting here now we have to draw the comparison graphs between the without using shear wall and with using shear wall condition system for the building okay so for that just i am selecting this respected values go to click on insert option draw option okay now we can say these are the comparison graph with, between the with using shear wall condition system and without using shear wall condition system the blue color mark indicates the value of that uh, displacement uh, story drift value under considerations of the without using shear wall condition system by using the shear wall condition system that did, uh, the results which are related to the red color mark indicates here okay so which is consisting of the less amount of the values when you compare with without using shear wall again i am selecting the sheet number 2 for the joint displacement values just i am selecting the values here click on insert option line option just i am drawing here again in the same process now we can see the maximum values are obtained for the without using shear wall condition system by using the both results of story drift and joint displacement values we can easily conclude that by providing the shear wall condition system the values of the story drift as well as the joint displacement will be reduces by using this respected uh, conclusion we can easily say that by providing the shear wall condition system we can design the earthquake resistant structural models okay so this is the complete process of comparison of the results between the without using shear wall condition system and with using shear wall condition system by using etap software okay if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you